Southerners definitely associate their food with love. My grandmother, Paul, lived to be 91, so I had many years in the kitchen with her as an adult. She taught me how to make my first pot of chicken and dumplings, so she played a, a big influence, and uh, she was so good in the kitchen. I didn't realize until the last 10 years just how good my grandmother was. I'll never forget the day I called my grandmother and I said, Grandma, I have figured everything out. And uh, I was telling her how the bag lady was going to work and I was going to cook all these wonderful meals. And uh, when I finally stopped to take a breath, I said, Grandmother, are you there? And it was just silence. And finally she said, Paul Ann, have you lost your damn mind? <laughs> so, you know, the big thing about Southern cooking is passing down your heritage. It's really important that you get in the kitchen with your grandmothers, your mothers, your aunts, your uncles, uh, because you're going to risk losing those things that uh, really are associated with good memories that you have. I'm going to be making something that really takes me back to my mother. Uh, she made these at every meal except breakfast, and they're lace hoe cakes. Now, these lace hoe cakes, they're not hard to make. There's three ingredients, plain cornmeal, salt, and water. And you can hear the water sizzling. This is one of the treasures in my kitchen, y'all. And it came out of my grandmother's kitchen at River Bend, you know, which takes us right back to that connection that Southern Cooking has to families and the memories. It, um, the food is really kind of a vehicle that gets us and reconnects us back to our childhood memories. I think in the Southern cooking world that less is definitely more. I think the simple things in life definitely taste the best. Look at that. It's the epitome of Southern cooking and it brings back so many memories. Uh, for me, I can see my mother, that beautiful red-headed woman, standing at her stove, flipping her hoe cakes. Mm. Please promise me that you'll try this recipe and help me keep Southern cooking alive. I think it's one of those my goals for my children to say, Bobby, Jamie, to each other. Do you remember when Mama used to cook those hoe cakes or those chicken and dumplings? I think that's the way I want them to remember me. Best dishes and love, y'all.